Hello, and welcome back to Tanya's Beauty Box. I am Tanya, and it has been quite a minute. Well, maybe not that long. Uh, it feels like forever. But today, I am going to um, just play in some makeup with you guys. Don't rhyme a reason. I'll be putting it on to take it right back off. I was supposed to do a video with Dion Loves Makeup. We we're going to um, unbox our final BoxyCharm from BoxyCharm boxes from March. But mine got lost. And for once, it had some stuff in there I really wanted. And um, nope, no go. So she did a video. Go check her out. That's Dion Loves Makeup, which is D-I-O-N Loves Makeup. Check out her um, site, her channel. She has um, interesting anecdotes. Um, she goes into how we met or became YouTube friends. And even more than that, uh, we uh, just this other day had a nice long Instagram conversation. Um, yeah, but I like her channel because... She she is to me she's great at putting color combinations together and they look so seamless and they just flow into each other and they're they're blended and they they just like they just like melt on her eye or something when she applies it. So when she applies shadow. So check her out. She does unboxing, she does experiments, hauls, um, give away with me's. Um, many looks from one palette so you don't just get one staple look and then she moves on to the next she gives you lots of different looks per palette and it, um, it's just great so go check her out now what am I doing I'm just playing in makeup today I was watching wannabe natural and she is the she gets out her videos every day at lunchtime she gets her swatches together she's doing shorts now Go check out her channel. It's Wana, and then Be Natural, all one word. Check her out. Tell her I sent you. Um, and we're just going to go ahead and play. Um, I'm going to start with the present. And I was watching LBD Beauty, which is Lynette. LBD, Space Beauty. And she was using the present as her primer. And I remember, oh, I love the present. So we're going to put some the present on to prime our face get it ready for makeup application and i don't have any brows i'm gonna do brows um on camera or maybe off camera depending upon how long this situation takes but this just gives you a nice base for your makeup I want to also tell you something that I tried. So, I have this, and this, and where did you go? It was one over here. It's thunderstorming, so, yeah, there's that. But I received these little acne dots and an Ipsy and a Boxy Charm. They're supposed to be like these little um, colloidal dots, hydrocolloidal dots that you put over the blemish for like eight hours or something. It's supposed to reduce and shrink it and remove redness and do all the one. Didn't do nothing. I tried both sets. See, they're both open. I tried them both on both pimples, um, multiple spaces. Um, for the amount of a lot of time that it says to leave them on for, um, they're supposed to be invisible, but of course, anything that's supposed to be invisible on dark skin is not invisible, it's more visible than anything. Um, they were comfortable to wear, they stuck and adhered to the blemish, they just didn't do anything. So I was walking around with these little circular dots. My kids asked me, What's wrong with your face? Nothing's wrong with my face. I just put on those little dots and they did nothing but sit there. So, first thing I'm going to do is I bought some brushes from Amazon. They were just regular old brushes. They don't have any name or anything. But I wanted an angled foundation brush. And I figured this would be good. 
You put the other one back in the... One is bigger than the other. I'm going to use my Danessa Myrix as my foundation, as my base. I haven't used this in a while. And I'm just going to go in and apply. This is shade number nine. One more thing I appreciate about Wannabe Naturals um, channel is that she's not a big foundation wearer, but when she puts on foundation, she doesn't use a lot. And for me, I feel like I need a lot of foundation. I feel like I need to slather it on, but she just kind of like uses the teeniest, tiniest bit. And it always looks very nice and natural on her. So that's what I'm that's what I'm going for right now. To use the least amount of this, even though I know it's not a foundation, it's a blurring balm powder. But it does have a hint of um I'm making a mess. It has a hint of um coverage and that's what i want mainly because i'm not going anywhere so i don't need to get dialed up completely dialed up and i'm not picking up that much on the brush i'm just like tap tap and pressing into the skin that's all i'm gonna put on All right. Next, we're gonna take an under eye powder. And this is from, of course, my tried and true L'Oreal C6. And we're gonna go under the eye. And since that's a bomb powder, we're going to let it do what it do and dry down for a little bit. I'm getting a shadow that I'm not appreciating here. It's been so long. Well, it feels like it's been so long that I can't get the... Can't get right. Wasn't that somebody's name in the movie? Can't get right. Was that a um, life? But time you can't get right. Yeah, I'm very bummed about not being able to do that um, video with Dion. I've been watching her since 2007, so it's been quite a while. Her name used to be Steela Junkie 07. And then she said that she kind of like went away for a little bit. And then when she came back, she became Dion Loves Makeup. And I remember she was doing a collab, I think, um, with a group of, of um, young ladies that I had been watching furiously over last year. Um, and she, was, she popped up and I looked at her and I said, that looks like Steeler Junkie. And I asked if that was her. She said, yeah, but she used to wear braids. Now she wears a nice low taper cut. But, um, yeah, she used to wear braids. And I looked at her and I was like, that looks like Steeler Junkie. And lo and behold, it was. I'm going to use this angle brush. We're going to go into Alamar Cosmetics. This is their Colorette Blush Trio. In dark rich we're going to use candela this one right here and I don't know if this is gonna go well with the eye look but to 
because I don't know what the eye look is going to look like. And she called herself a chapstick. Oh, I guess I'm a blush. Oh, because I love blush. I'm a blush fanatic. Me and blush are besties. I love it. Especially one that looks like it's coming from within. And on my big fat face, I like to put it on my big fat cheeks. I know you might, some people don't like to wear theirs so close in. To the actual cheek on the actual apples of the cheek but that's where I love to place mine so I'm just gonna blend blend it into that bomb powder oh and on wanna be natural channel she doesn't like blush so she rarely if ever I don't think I've ever even seen her apply any her brows are always great so I covet her brow, her brows, <laughs> and um, she's and the fact that she can get on lashes, which is something I'm still unable to do. Get the freaking lashes on. We're gonna put on. My eyes are watering, and I don't know why, but they've been watering for a couple of days. And this one was actually red yesterday. Now, what I've been doing that's been out of the norm is that there's a, like a little family of cats. I've been feeding them. And the other day while I was feeding one, I inadvertently touched it. Now, I'm not can't remember if I washed my hands before or after I touched my face. So I kind of want to attribute the um, issue with my eye to having touched that cat. And then touching my face because I'm not used to touching animals because I don't have any. I don't have a desire to have any. They're just cute to watch when they, they come to the door. They paw at the door. They expect to get something to eat. So I try to have something for them to eat. Okay. This is a no-go. That's dead. So I was trying not to go fancy. But we will go fancy. So we're going to get that on the lid and into. Oh, and I also want to um, tell you about this other channel called Unboxing with Arlene. She's doing a failed it or nailed it. And it's Unboxing with Arlene, which is A-R-L-E-E-N. She's done wing liner. She's done lashes. Now she's doing cut crease. I've never attempted to do a cut crease because I know I can't do it. But she's fearless, y'all. And every Saturday, she attempts to do one of those things that has challenged her and right now we're doing cut crease um so we go and check her out her channel is wonderful as well she does giveaways when she wins a giveaway you have the opportunity to win a giveaway because she could get us back meaning that she um, will do a giveaway herself um to those who have um, been subscribed to her channel. So we're going to go into the Man Eater palette. I bought this in 2021. I think this is the only palette I bought. Now I might have gotten some palettes through BoxyCharm or Ipsy. But this is the only one that I came out of pocket for. Well I bought those technically. But I mean this is the only one that I um, saw and purchased um, intentionally. So, what do I want to do here? I always go s simple. I always go, uh, I don't know. Let's, let's go in with Mischievous, which is this color here. I'm going to use this big fluffy brush. This is from Complex Culture, the all-over powder brush. I'm going to go in with that. And... 
bring this mirror closer. These warm lights are good for you guys to see what I'm doing, but they don't particularly help me out all that much. And I need to spend more time blending. I seem to tend to want to go a little fast when my blending is concerned and not really get that blend in. I have to work on that. Okay, next let's go into let's go into alluring. Uh, brush for that. And we're going to use this. What is this? Um, MOTD number three. Go into that. I'm going to keep my eye open so I can get into the socket. I have hooded Nadian how many videos back? Quite a few videos back because she posts almost every day. I haven't seen that. I think she's maybe missed one day since I started rewatching her again last year. Um, she posted a video on the difference between hooded eyes and hooded lids. And I can't remember if I have hooded eyes or hooded lids. But I'm also going to use one of her favorite things in the world. It's a double-ended applicator. Dion loves these for getting out the sparkly colors. And for this one, I'm going to go into the shade. Let's go into the shade Sensual, which is right here. Now, she has great um, experience with these. And great um, outcome. I am still learning how to make these work for me. I'm using that. She doesn't apply um, makeup with her fingers, so she opts for shimmer colors. Instead of using fingers as we would normally do, we just like going with our finger, is to use these double ended applicators. And on her, her lid must just be super smooth or something. It doesn't skip, it doesn't tug, it doesn't do any of that. But for me, I find that although I like these, and she has, um, on her channel in her description box if you're interested in these uh, where she gets them from she gets them from Amazon but you can go through her link and make sure that you get the exact product um, it did pretty good this time it did pretty good I will give it I will give it that but usually it um, tugs or leaves or deposits color in one spot or whatever and I'm sitting there looking like you know what the frick man okay then we're going to go into well, this flaky, um, quite flaky. I'm going to, I'm always drawn to use this green. And instead of using the black, I'm going to use that green. And, and to use that green, I'm going to be using another complex culture brush. And this is the all over shadow. So I'm going to go into the green on the tip. And we're going to go into a V motion in the corner here. I'm going to close my eye. Make sure I get in the... Now this blurring bomb powder is still a little... I can still feel it like it hasn't uh, set down or anything. I can feel like my eye wants to water. On my right side, I'm trying not to let that happen. Let's see. Oh, um, I want you guys to also look out for Simply You Makeup 
aged, graceful, which is one word, and accessorized your life, they're doing a panning project, a Wakanda panning project, where they're going through some products that they want to pan for 2023. They are doing an awesome job at panning these products, and um, they're using skincare, they're using high-end, they're using drugstore, they're using indie brands, some stuff that you might have and might have been wanting to, you know, use a little bit more or get some better use out of, or maybe you wanted to pan them yourself. Well, all you have to do is check out one of those ladies and let them know um, in the comments that you're interested in joining the Wakanda Panic. I, I'm not panning because I wouldn't know where to start. I do need to get rid of some things, but uh, I can't, um, I can't commit. I'm a coffee now. What I'm going to go into now is my liner. This is a Girlectic or Girlitic. This is a precise eyeliner marker. And another thing, I'm just all over the place. Um, Arlene from Unboxing with Arlene took me up on my suggestion that she try the Maybelline Curvitude liner in order to try to get a better wing and she had some success with it I don't think she thought she nailed it or anything I think she did a great job with it and she tries for the whole month to nail that particular um, technique I'm really interested in the cut crease I've never I love them I've never tried them because I don't think that my eye space works for that Ooh -wee. Woo wee. Now, let's get this mascara on. I'm going to be using Thrive Cosmetics, Cosmetics rather, in the color Bren, which is rich black. And let's get it done here. Go on the tops. And pull out. Let's see who else do I think you guys should check out that I'm watch that I watch a lot. Nothing's coming to mind at the moment, but that doesn't mean that I'm not watching. Oh, Nisi W Beauty. She's doing a month um a Monday makeup basket. And most of, some of these ladies are also doing shop my stashes. So you need to check them out. Um, so Nisi, N-I-E-C-Y-W Beauty. I have not learned the art of editing. Which is why stuff is not flying all over the page. Because I, I do think that if I ever learn how to edit, I have stuff flying all over the page. And, you know, stuff will be popping up and be all over the place you know it'd be like Tanya uh you're doing more artistically than you're doing with your makeup which is artistic in a way this is a way to paint but you're painting your face I always want I'm all over the place so just stay with me I always wanted to learn how to paint and I consider going to those um Paint with a twist, things where you get some girls together, maybe you go by yourself, you get yourself something to drink, and you follow along with an artist on a preconceived, a predetermined picture, and they walk you through it. Well, I figure this is just as good. Okay, so going up and down, up and down. This freaking cosmetic situation is the business. I just wish it didn't cost so much. Now, uh, alternative to this, and I'm not sure if they're in the same price range, but I would think Tarte might be a little bit cheaper. The Tarte Surfer Curl, I think it's kind of similar to this um, Cosmetics 
um, mascara. Also, I'd like for you guys to check out Sussex Sandra. She is an international uh, British YouTuber I watch. So that's Sussex, which is S-U-S-S-E-X, Sandra, which is S-A-N-D-R-A. If you guys can check out those YouTubers that I've mentioned in this video, I will be very happy. Very, a lot of these people are um, smaller YouTubers, or they might be like mid-range, maybe probably less than 5,000 people that have set up to them, but they have great, excellent content. All right, we're going to attempt brows, attempt some brows. I think this camera shuts off after 30 minutes. I'm at 25 right now, so don't come at me for my brows. Okay? I appreciate it if you didn't come at me for the brows, because they might be a little bit, or a whole lot jacked up. I'm using a Ruby Kisses um, brow product. It's in the shade Black Brown. And give me a moment. I'll be right back. So I'm back. I, don't, I didn't bring out a lip product, so we'll just use this Oriza Beauty Glow Up Lip Balm and Peach Tea. It's just a clear situation. Uh, but I like it. And that is today's look. So I know I named a lot of different people that you guys can check out, but check them out. Support them as you support me. I really would appreciate it. These are women and channels that I like to watch on a, on a daily basis. I go through the little list during the day and I check off. And I genuinely um, comment because their content is very rich. And, and, and they are very creative women. Um, just... Yeah, just this is just off the top of my head. So check them out. They are wonderful and you would not be um regretting anything if you went ahead and sub to them. But my time is getting ready to run out. I just went and wanted to come on and do something I got kinda um inspired by watching one of those wonderful women that I was talking about in this video. And I decided to put on some makeup so I could take it all off. This is the look. Don't forget those little acne pad thingies. Do not work or did not work for me. How about that? Did not work for me. So I will see you in another video. I will see you soon. If I get my boxes this time, I'll be doing box unopenings or unboxings and everything like that. So I will see you soon. And uh, my niece loves these videos. She can read. So when you say something about majesty, she reads that and it makes a little face glide up. So thank you so much for loving her in these videos, even when she's a little salty and sassy with me, like she was in the last video. But she perked up when she got my lippy. But um, yeah, stay with the collection. And I'm shy. And I will see you in the next video. Bye. Oops. And I want to shut off. I'm going to let it run down. I'm telling you, the things that happen while you're trying to do stuff never fails. Okay. Three, two, one.
Oh, it don't shut off after 30 minutes. Maybe it didn't pause when I put it on pause. Well, this is just great. <laughs> Let's see, what else can I talk about here?